Thanks very much, Tony. More than 700 Cub Scouts from across the state have spent the weekend enjoying the Wild West during their biannual Cubberette. Managing three days of activities for hundreds of 8 to 11 year olds is no mean task, but 400 leaders and parent helpers managed it at a gallop. We calculated that we'd increased the population of Goulburn from 4 to 5 per cent over Friday, Saturday and Sunday here. Um, I think that's quite an incredible feat to do that to a population of our inland city in this the year of the outback. Building and racing wagons, pumpkin seed spitting and an obstacle course, just some of the activities on offer. And we're here to, of course, this weekend celebrating Harmony Day, which encourages all of us as Australians to take a stand against racism, prejudice and intolerance. Not that there were any signs of that. Friendship the key, as the multitude was fed again and again, thanks to the efforts of an army of volunteer cooks, all gathering yesterday to celebrate Harmony Day. You see all those flags waving on the oval, all those Cub Scouts surrounded by their leaders and all wrapped in a harmony wrap is just something to I'll remember forever. The people in the back. And that's our bulletin on Tuesday night. I'm Peter Leonard from the Wind News team. Good night.